Jasmine, would love to hear your point of view on this since you actually address social issues. Like, do you feel pressure to be that representative? Um, I don't feel pressured because that's such a big part of my channel and my brand and everything that I'm all about. So I, like, I'm quick to respond to certain things, to post a video or a tweet or a post on Instagram. So I never feel pressured to talk about certain things. But as far as like the point of view situation, my whole channel and what I talk about is like, anyone who follows me knows that I'm extremely opinionated. I get all the trolls in my mentions, everything. But I'm more about encouraging people to find their own point of view and not be so like easily manipulated by the media and by like outside people who purposely want you to feel a certain type of way and think certain things about situations, especially racism, politics, um, sexuality, things like that. And so I try very hard, other than actually giving my opinion on my channel, I try to actually give people the tools to go and learn about a situation themselves instead of saying, hey, you should think this about something. You should think this is bad and this is good. I try to encourage people to actually go and research things to find the information themselves before making an opinion because living in the time of social media, a lot of us are so quick to look at the title of something and not actually read into it and we believe everything we see on an instant and then on Instagram and Twitter, it gets shared so quickly and it's like we're actually spreading lies and spreading things that we don't actually know about just because we only read the title. We don't fully understand things. And so that's what I try to do on my channel. I give my opinion, but I try to encourage people to formulate their own thoughts and opinions. Don't just hop on the bandwagon of whatever's trending at the moment and how people think you should feel about certain things. So that's how I am as far as um, sharing my point of view and then putting the, ouch, <laughs> putting the information out there. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, in talking about social issues, uh, one, I try and have a balance of that with other content on my channel so that I don't get just constantly pigeonholed into just making content about um, black experiences or like social issues, um, but also making things that are relatable to a lot of people, relatable to like the experience of growing up, the experience of navigating through school and like throughout, you know, post-grad life. Mm -hmm. um, and then with the conversations that I do have about social issues, I try and make them specific and nuanced and supported by, um, you know, facts and um, reasoning as opposed to just kind of shouting one sort of dogmatic opinion, kind of similar to Jasmine, yeah. and like encouraging people to think about this themselves and have those complex discussions with other people around them. Um, and that, I think, helps to not just label me as sort of one position one sort of like ideal thing yeah uh, as opposed to being like a complex human talking about yeah. these complex human issues yeah and then also at the same time because like we tend to talk about politics and social issues a lot of the problems that happen just keep happening over and over again so you have to kind of pick and choose so sometimes right. I do feel pressure to speak on every little thing but it's like I'm not gonna make a video every time the police shoot an unarmed person because then right. I'm gonna be making videos about that 24 7 you know, so um, every time I do make a video about topics like that, that seem to happen over and over, I try to pose some type of like solution to the problem. What can you do? What can you take away from it? Because yeah, we all kind of use social media as an outlet to like talk about how we feel about certain things. But at some point, because a lot of us do have influence, we want to actually encourage people to make change. It's not just me telling you, I'm mad about this, I'm sad about this. We want to actually use our voices to be able to, you know, put out something positive and make some type of change, even if it's just in two people. That's still better than nothing. Yeah. Ow, again. <laughs> Keep hitting so, myself. So, well, <laughs> you're rocking the kente cloth. You're, you're you're rocking kente cloth. You're you're serving a lot of Africa. I love it. Do you feel? on your channel that you need to rep the black community? Do you feel that pressure, whether it's social issues or just in general? Honestly, no. I really don't feel the pressure. I feel lucky enough that, and this is hard to say, this is really specific to say, I feel like people before me, all the entertainers that came before me, uh, they worked so hard that I can get to be normal. It's like, I don't have to be this or that. Like The, the entertainers that came before me uh, set up a life where I don't really have to uh, just be black. I can just be in the same race that everybody else is in. 
And I, I'm really appreciative of that. Like, I really don't, I think that it, it's very necessary for us to have people like you and everybody who goes out and like spends their day fighting for the cause, but I'm lucky enough that I get to just be a part of just the entertainment cycle. Now, I spent a lot of my youth uh, working at uh, youth organizations, go to a lot of meetings and protests and social activism. So I feel like I really got that out of my youth and I've been so lucky enough to spend the past couple of my years uh, not trying to fight the system, but work with the system inside of it. And I think just me, like me succeeding in any way, getting to be on TV and, ha and getting to not just be a token, I get to just be Will. And I think that is the, 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 the dream that Martin Luther King had. Uh, the, the dream that all those people have is that I just to go, I get to just be on TV or on the internet and just be me. And that to me is the gift. And that is doing the work. I think it's dope too that we can be able to have both parties. Both. I think that we have the balance. It shows that black people, like we're not only about black issues. Like we can still do comedy and like talk about things that don't necessarily have to tie into oppression because I mean it gets kind of depressing after a while you gotta you gotta yeah. find the balance so it's yeah. cool to be able to yeah. see like we can have so both. many different yeah, yeah so mm -hmm. many different spectrums of it right